What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor Speed 6. Hey, thanks for stopping in today. I have something really, really special lined up. So I was actually tagged on Twitter the other day and I had to actually bring this to you guys so you could see this for yourselves. There's someone on Twitter named Joe C, uh, which I will have their at uh, in the description and uh, on screen so you can go ahead and check out their Twitter as well. He has actually created one of the most insanely detailed events I think that I've seen in the blueprint or events lab creator to date. One thing to know though about this route before we get into it is it's not necessarily built for racing. Yes, it is an eight lap race, but the route itself is so short. Uh, it really doesn't get in depth into racing uh, and doesn't really promote that type of you know competitive racing with friends and things like that. What I see this being for uh, would be sort of a photo op for different cars, especially Asian cars, uh, Japanese cars, which as you can see, we're in the 1974 Toyota Celica GT. So I'm gonna hop into this event. I've already found the event and saved it as one of my favorites. Uh, so we are going to take a look at it together for the first time in detail and see exactly what this event looks like. So headed into the creative hub again, I've already got it saved as my favorite. Now here is the share code. It will be down in the pinned comment and description below and on screen throughout the video. So if you'd like to take a look at this event yourself, feel free to. But as you can see, it's very, very short. It's again, not built to be a race event. Another really important thing I want you to look at here is the amount of plays this thing has. 13, that's it. This will go up tremendously over the next few days or even coming weeks, of course. So let's jump into this. He has it set uh, for Japanese style uh, vehicles only. So I would assume that's anything that comes from Japan. So since it's such a short and tight event, what I'll do is I'll probably just stay in the Celica because there's no need for something with a ton of power on this super tight circuit, especially since we're just gonna be driving around and looking at the event to see what it's all about. Now, one thing that Joe C did put a warning out about on Twitter was that it takes a long time for this event to load. I would assume it's because of the amount of detail, uh, but we'll see, of course. So he said, wow, that's cool. It actually looked like a little bridge up there, but he said on Twitter to give the game about 10 seconds to actually load in uh, or you'll have to restart. So as you can see on the right side of the screen, Ah, you probably can't see that because my big ass head's in the way. But I, I can see some things sort of flickering in and out and loading in. So we're going to wait for just a second and then we'll actually get it going. You can see the rocks up there uh, whoop, this way. Uh, we're flickering for a second loading in. It looks like it's all loaded in now based on what I see. So uh, let's see what this looks like. So the starting grid, it looks like he has this set for just three people. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm just going to cruise around and see what this is all about because it looked phenomenal based on the little clip that I saw on Twitter. Let's jump into this. Straight away. So this looks like, okay, so here's the start finish line, I would assume. Uh, he's got little lights everywhere, of course. I can already see tons of little lanterns, a gigantic coral rock. And then we jump up onto, oh wow, this is actually really neat. It looks like a cobblestone road. Uh, I'm not sure what he used for the for the road. I know what this is, of course. These are the little ramps and the, wow, look how fast they actually, they finished a lap in 30 seconds or so. Uh, so yeah, that shows you just how short this is. So this is looking to me like it's some sort of Japanese temple uh, or something of those sorts. But look at the amount of detail. It was actually still loading a little bit there. I had a bunch of lag. Let's go into photo mode really quickly and see what this looks like. This is so incredibly cool. Wow, the, the photo mode is really slow. Let me turn on my exposure a little bit because it's so dark. We want to see everything. Oh God, it's so slow. Dude, check this out. Even going to like a piece of art on the wall, which is actually just a little barrier or, or railing of a bridge you can build in the event lab or blueprint creator. Fencing everywhere, of course. We've got the little pillars with the lights shoved down in them, the lights shoved into the walls. I've not spent enough time in the blueprint creator yet to actually know what all of this stuff is. The ambience of this at night. Oh, and he does have a day event shared for this as well. I'll try to have that in the, uh, in the pinned comment and description as well. But let's just appreciate this detail. 
This is mental. And we're not even off of the first road, basically. It's, it goes up here and around the corner, which we can see uh, a little pillar up here. Uh, so this, this looks really, really promising, honestly. Uh, this is so damn cool. I'm not sure you know what you'd call this in Japan, but it looks like a, a little Japanese temple of sorts. We've got steps going up to, I would assume what would be like the second level of the racetrack uh, to a really, really big temple up there on the hill. This looks spectacular. Wow, this is very, very impressive. I wonder how much time, and there's a bicycle. I love it. Little details like that are everything. Absolutely everything. Whoa, what is this? Wait, what are those up there? Are they anywhere else? No, 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 no. Okay. Wow, wait a second. He's got them thrown in here too. That really does look like something you would see in Japan. Everything about this looks wholly authentic. I'm trying to figure out what the hell he's done here. So, okay, I know that this here, that is one of the festival grandstands, the one with the cover. And these are the lights from those stands very very well played there uh i'd actually like to see this in the day so i might I, I might jump into that here in a second very well played very creative uh let's jump back in the car and, and move up the road just a little bit this is so damn cool this is why i love the horizon community especially because of the amount of people the diversity of the group or the community how damn creative people are wait is that actual kanji on the wall up there stop it he did not Okay, wait a second. We've got to look at this. This is not actually... Oh my god, it's actual... I don't... Please forgive me if this is not kanji or not Japanese writing at all. But look at this. Look at these little details. That's crazy, y'all. It seriously just looks like art on the wall. With the ambient lighting around. What is this? Okay, so that is that same thing down there. Just pushed a little bit deeper into the wall more writing are those kanji characters please someone let me know man you see you see how much it's lagging i'm on the xbox series s so i can only imagine that the xbox one or the one x would be seriously laggy i am so impressed with this it is so cool what is this up here oh dude is this a semi that's a semi turned over on its side like the trailer stop it look at that so oh my gosh y'all look at that yo i've got to get this is so dope big shout out to josie this is incredibly cool man this is stupid this is so stupid cool i gotta give me this i've got to get a picture of this this is so badass i'm i'm uh i'm like beyond words at the scope of just how awesome this is gotta share that okay uh let's move back down here a little bit and let's not let's not uh forget all of the shrubbery and uh the pretty foliage and things like that throughout another staircase going up to some flower arches so okay so that's probably the next level yo it looks like samurai swords i know they're not of course but it looks like samurai swords up there my dude you've absolutely destroyed this this is fantastic Okay, let's let's move on just a little bit more. I can't I can't believe this is actually something that's in the game. So I love this right here too, how he's got the little pillars with the lights on top. It looks literally just like a little village pathway. You know what I mean? I love the use of the rocks because this is exactly what it would look like in like a monastery of sorts uh, or up at a Japanese temple. This is so incredibly dope. Go back into photo mode here. Yo, yo, look at this. Look at this. The amount of detail in this thing. Yeah, I wish I could I wish I could go up even higher. That is a fountain. I believe that's a fountain. Yep. And this right here is the top of the little part that sticks out of the middle of the fountain. That is so damn cool. This is so damn cool. You're going to you have to in order to appreciate this, you are going to have to go into this event yourself and just check out the detail in every aspect of this event. This is so amazing. I cannot, I can't get over how cool this is. I wanna know what this is right here though. Oh, I know what that is. That's the, okay, I know exactly what that is. That's a little flag thing that hangs over and has the, like the drapes or, or the fabric. This is so cool, guys. I know I keep saying this is so cool. Like I'm running out of words. Oh my God, look at this. 
Everywhere you look, there's something else. And the little flags here. We've got flower pots back in here. This is so beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know what else to say. This is art within a game. Someone has literally created a work of art in a video game in the Forza Horizon 5 Event Lab Blueprint Creator. That's literally what this is. This is just art. So Josie, huge shout out to you, dude. This is fantastic. All right, let's jump back in the car, cruise around the corner a little bit. All right, so what we got here. So this is the back of, no, this is again, more of the festival stands with the roofs or the, the tops over top of them. Going down into these beautiful arches. What is this? Wait, what are those? Are those, are those the benches? Are those the benches that are in the, I think I'm pretty sure. Yep, these are the park benches that are in the blueprint creator or the event lab. This is so cool. So he has little pillars, little rock pillars, uh, which are in the nature or natural section of the blueprint creator or blueprint builder. And then he's sunken these park benches into them to make sort of this aesthetic looking arch with beautiful flowers coming out. And again, more of these awesome. Okay, here, let me see. Yeah, I thought that's what they were. Very cool. Very, very impressive use of some extremely simple things that you would not think to use. So he's taking again these little pillars the from the natural section or nature section and lined them one by one side by side to mimic a cobblestone road of sorts. This is genuinely one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in Forza Horizon uh, or any game where you could actually build your own blueprint style event. What the hell? We have floating lights here? How did this happen? Okay, we're not gonna question that. We're just gonna assume that's a glitch, but it still looks cool. Especially the ambience of uh, being at night and you know, sort of having a little fog around. But again, bravo, well done. This is so badass. Uh, let me go back around here real quick and throw in just like a quick lap to see what it feels like. Okay, so then we are back out onto the first straight. Hard hairpin right, going up, going up. Look how cool this looks, y'all. This is so cool. Dude, if this was integrated into like some sort of downhill like toge event, it would absolutely kill. But, oh, brakes, but. I can only imagine how long this event took to build because look at it again. It is so well done and so incredibly detailed. All right, let's quit this really quick. We'll go back and uh, check out the daytime version of this event just to see what it looks like. Okay, so here we see the day race. Uh, share code again for this is on screen and will be down in the pinned comment description as well. Let's jump into this one and see what this looks like during the day. Check this out. That is so damn cool. This looks so badass in the daytime too, but I have to say it was even better at night because it just had that aesthetic with all the little lamps. That's a rock. All the little lamps and lights and things like that that were lit up at night just made it just even that much better. What's so cool to me though is that he used semi trailers as the boxes to these homes and these buildings, it just looks so incredibly cool. Again, we don't deserve this as a community. It is so awesome. The amount of work and time that Joe C has put into this, I would love to know just how long he, he it took him to build this event because it's stupid detailed in every aspect of the word detail. And it's just awesome. It Wow, it even, wow, check it out. It looks like Mount Fuji in the background. That looks so cool. Uh, wow, this is this is awesome. I, I just can't stop saying wow. I think that might be the, the title of the video, just wow. But please, everybody, go support this man, Joe C. Gamertag J-O-H-C-E-E. -E. Again, the root share codes will be in the pinned comment and the description below. Go support the absurd amount of hard work that he's put into this event. Shoot some pictures on it. For me, this is just going to be a purely aesthetic event for pictures of JDM cars uh, and things like that. I recommend you doing the same. I cannot wait to see what some of the Ford photographers out there do. I will be sure to share this in my Discord and all of my social medias. And of course, 
I would love for you guys to do the same for Joe C. Big shout out again to Joe C for building this. Thank you, my friend. That's going to do it for me today, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, leave a positive comment down below, and shout out Joe C and thank him for his hard work. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I have been Connor Speed Six. Much love, everyone. See you soon.